and welcome uh, I wanted to make this extra video because I found a new device that I really like it's a Shelly Wi-Fi plug uh, and at least it's new to me and I, I was looking for something like this because I wanted a, a plug uh, with the capability of, of being standalone so I could control it using REST APIs and I can control it locally without the need of any cloud services or any local servers or anything. Uh, so I was looking online and I found this one and uh, I really like it actually. So I wanted to show you some nice features um, it has. First of all, it, has, uh, it is a 2500 watt rated and it also has a built-in energy meter uh, so you can monitor your power consumption on this device. So the first thing you need to do is to find find the IP address when you have connected it. Uh, in my case I used my mobile phone uh, to connect it to Wi-Fi and after that I could get the IP address of the device and if you just browse to the device to the IP address uh, you can see that it actually has a, has a small uh, web interface uh, where you can control it and do most of uh, all the things that you need to do uh, and this is not what I needed uh, but I will use it to show you some of the capabilities and then I want to show you how I really want to use it uh, so first of all, you can see that it's actually monitoring the power right up here to what it's a small LED uh, lamp that I connected. Uh, it has timers, so you can um, turn it on and off uh, according to your timer schedule. But it also has a real schedule where you can set it up to turn it on and off uh, on dates and time. Uh, because it's actually including an NTP server connection. So it's automatically setting the time, uh, the current time of uh, the device. Uh, as you can see up here, that's the correct time. And if you go to settings, you can also see that you can configure it for your time zone uh, and daylight savings and so on. So you can really do a lot of things here with this small device. Um, in terms of security, uh, I've set it up now as uh, no password, but you can restrict the logins to it as well and do some other uh, nice things for it. And you can have it roaming between your different, um, if you have more than one um, access point for your Wi-Fi and so on. So that's also really useful. Uh, you can... Um, control a lot of things like how it should act when you turn it on or when you power it up. Um, you have the time zone and actually also geolocation. You can let it know where it's where it's actually uh, used. It will scroll through the different settings here for you. And then it also has a, a nice feature that I like that you can you can actually connect it to other devices. So what this means is that when you press the button on the device or when it's turned on and or off, it can output a URL that can control another device. 
so you can actually link them together if you want. So when you turn on one, it will also turn off several other devices using just a URL on your on your Wi-Fi. Uh, so that's really nice. But what I really wanted to use it for is actually the possibilities to control it um, like a REST API uh, or just from a command line on your um, in your browser, for example. I can easily turn it off with this simple command and I get the JSON back as the result as well. And turn it back on like this. And if I want to read uh, energy consumption, I can just type in this command. Here you can see that I get the current cons the current load, uh, two watts in this case. Uh, I get timestamp. I get the three latest measurements. I think it's a minute in between. And then I actually also get the total value. And this can be really useful because it's the accumulated value in what minutes. Uh, and this can be used to, to uh, keep track of your total consumption. So that, that's a really nice feature. Um, I can also um, sh both uh, see and make settings directly from the command line. Here you can see all of the settings and get back the different values. Uh, I think you can set most of them directly from the uh, the command line, uh, but I'm not sure if all of them are included, but uh, at least some of them. And if you want more information about this, they have a complete API on the home page. So just have a look here and you can see what functionality you can have or do or what you can do. So for example, status. Uh, I'll get back the information, the IP address, uh, name and so on. And if we have a look, I think I get the power here. Yeah, yeah the power as well. And then you actually have a temperature sensor as well. So you get the temperature back from this device. As you know, I like temperature sensors. Um, if we go back to the web interface, there's one more feature I wanted to show you. Uh, we'll just try and find it. That's actually down here. You can also uh, make an overload um, protection on it. So in, in, when you get it as default, it's actually set to uh, 1800 watts. Uh, so if the consumption goes over that, it will um, turn off the devices for, for safety. And you can change this and, and um, use this to protect from something happening and your devices uh, malfunction or something. Really nice. Going back to the home page, you can see that there are a lot of other devices available. I have not any um, experience from any of them, uh, but I can see that there are quite a lot of different useful things that you could uh, potentially use. Uh, so, so why did I want to have this then? Well, a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, I needed um, some way of turning off and on a few devices at our summer house. Uh, and since I don't have a tail stick or any other devices like that available, uh, I thought I would just use any kind of Wi-Fi device. Uh, but I didn't want to rely on a cloud service or something. I just wanted to be able to control it. 
directly from my Arduino or directly from my um, uh, Raspberry Pi and Magic Mirror. Uh, and then I found this one and it's so simple to use. So I directly decided to use this one. And so far, so good. I haven't actually implemented it yet, so I will let you know how it goes and if there are any problems or if I see any any more smart things that I can do with it. So thank you for watching. I can really recommend this one. Thanks.